Okay, uh, this week's review, anime review, is Parasite. Uh, Parasite is now airing on Adult Swim, uh, Toonami. You can watch it on Saturday nights. And uh, it first appeared in the Japanese magazine Afternoon. And its, ma and its run in that magazine was from 1988 to 1995. It was created and drawn by Hitoshi Iwaki. Uh, it had a really good run as a series and then later as a manga. It spawned the anime series and two live action movies. And uh, speaking of the action movies, live action movies, even though I have not seen the, the two movies, fans of the Parasite anime and manga are very disappointed with the movies. They really don't like it that much. Um, okay, moving on to the plot. Now, if you are a fan of science fiction and horror, and better yet, a fan of of movies that do both at the same time, Parasite is definitely for you. It, it's a straight out of the 50s type plot where these spores come down from space and they start to inhabit people. Um, it's, you know, you literally just expect somebody to start to say, one of us, one of us, during the, during the anime. Um, so anyway, the, the lead character, Shinichi Uzumi, um, he gets one of these parasites that for some reason crawls up his arm because they can't get it to his brain from his ears because he's listening to, to music. And he uses the cord for, Shinichi uses the cord to wrap around his arm to prevent the parasite from going underneath his skin into his brain. He thinks it's all over and then of course the next day you meet Migi who basically takes over his right arm and hand. And basically what the deal for the rest of the series is is that Shinichi is finding others of these kind of like parasite people where these people are take overtaken by the parasites and basically taking them on because what they're doing is they're eating human beings. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of what they do. They, they launch sports in space, they light on a world, and then they, they overtake the, the main species of that world and eat them and then go on to the next planet and that's kind of what they do uh, but because the parasites are parasites they don't really know much about themselves so they are always constantly learning and it's actually this is where it kind of gets kind of funny Miki makes a lot of mistakes on this on this on this point now uh, the anime itself uh, is very well done in terms of that it's very well drawn the action is pretty intense so if you like action and this is it, but it does get bloody, it get, does get gross. Um, the biggest problem that I have with this uh, this anime, and the reason why I'm kind of disappointed, I like to watch like three or four episodes before I form an opinion, and I've decided that I really don't want to watch this anymore. Not because it's a bad concept, poorly drawn, or anything like that, or even that the writing is that bad. It's, it's something that I normally don't um, consider, which is... English versus Japanese voice actors, and it, it, for me, um, since the mid '90s, the the improvement of English voice actors is is amazing. Back in the early '80s, early '90s, they, it was pretty much a crapshoot. It could be really good or really really bad. Um, in this series, in Parasite, I feel that the voice English voice actors um, are not that good, and that the director really was not on their game. So I'm willing to give this another try, but I'm thinking I'm going to have to go with the Japanese voice actors on this one. So uh, what am I trying to tell you? I'm trying to tell you that this is a good science fiction horror concept. It's a good action um, anime. Watch it in Japanese with subtitles. That's what I'm telling you. Okay, um, now next up, just a little talk about Christmas in Japan. So I know that I've talked about uh, Christmas in, in past years and how that it's not really a holiday as Americans would treat it. It's not a holy day or anything like that because in Japan most of them are Shinto or Buddhist. But that it's kind of a commercial holiday and that it's more of a romantic holiday for you know couples. And, and it's just a fun day even though nobody gets the day off really because again it's not a religious holiday. But the thing that I, I love about uh, the concept of uh, Christmas in Japan is not only just kind of like the, the tchotchkes and all the, you know, the sweets that you can eat and, you know, basically just, you know, the fun stuff that, that comes along with it. And, you know, they really do a good job of just 
having a lot of fun with his holiday and not treating it very seriously. I, the the whole thing of the Christmas dinner being from Kentucky Fried Chicken slays me. I I love the idea of it. It's it's genius. It's marketing genius, and I'm a little bit jealous because honestly, if I had my way, I would totally do KFC for my Christmas dinner. I mean, think about it. I mean, how easy. I mean, over there you'd have to do a reservation to pick up your your ten piece chicken, whatever. But still, if that's all you had to do was wait in line to to get some food, you didn't have to actually cook it. Man, that's a really good deal. Okay, um, anyway, that's enough for this week. I'll see you guys next week, and until then, uh, have a happy holiday or Merry Christmas. All right, see you later.